Good evening, Fire fans, and a warm welcome to viewers at home joining us live and exclusive here on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night from the Barnsley Metrodome here in South Yorkshire. You now join us for your feature presentation. Please welcome firstly to the ring your challenger from Spain, Kiko Martinez. And here is Kiko Martinez. Only 22, remember he's a puncher, he'll be dangerous early. The man from Alicante is set on revenge tonight, Jim. Yeah, but we can only assume he's going to be a lot better than he was last time. I think it was a little bit of a disappointment last time. I don't know, he says there was something wrong. Health-wise, well, that wouldn't surprise me. But in the interim time, I think the England Monroe has become a better fighter. So I think he has a bigger task tonight than he failed the last time he was here. big disappointment for Martinez will be the failure of his backers to get the fight in Spain. Frank Maloney won the first offers and that's why Rendell Munro has home advantage. That could be crucial to him as well tonight. But this fella's got 12 wins inside three rounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your favorite hometown boy from Leicester, your champion, Renal Two-Tone Monroe. Well, last year, fighters like Ricky Hatton, Joe Calzaghe, and David Hay were the big stars. But if they were handing out an Oscar for best supporting act in British boxing, this fellow, Rendell Monroe, would have been close to winning it. He's now ranked number five with the WBA, and this is his fifth European title fight. He's come from nowhere, really, to become quite a big player on the stage in British boxing. Yeah, that's a fantastic story. And along the way, he's become a much better fighter. He's the confidence level of being a champion. He's big for the weight. He's a huge super bantam weight. There's so much more confidence in his own ability. I expect he can shine tonight. We know this is a dangerous fight for him. We know Martinez is a huge puncher. But I fancy Monroe. This could be a career best performance from him tonight. Looked very good in training, apparently. Monroe's 28, Martinez six years younger. Monroe is taller. They're both inside the eight stone, 10 pound super bantamweight limit. Slight reach advantage for Monroe. Both been professionals for about the same length of time. Monroe, one year more. A few more fights for Martinez. Bigger knockout percentage record for him, 71, that's important. The odds say Rendell Monroe to retain the title, 13 to 8 on, 6 to 1 by, to do it inside schedule. That's not a bad bet in my view, and 7 to 4 on on points for Monroe. I wonder whether he might do it inside schedule, he's very, very big at the weight, this guy. Your next contest is sanctioned by the European Boxing Union in association with the British Boxing Board of Control. Your European supervisor is Perti Augustin of Finland. Your steward in charge is Mr. Jeff Bolter. Your judges at ringside are Franco Ciminali of Italy, Asa Letosari of Finland and Noel Monet of France. When the bell rings, your third man in the ring will be Daniel van der Vila of Belgium. And now, fight fans, Frank Maloney and Maloney Promotions in association with proud sponsors, BetDirect.com, Red Square Vodka, BBE Britannia Boxing and Daniel Williams, PlumbingCum.com now present your main event. 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the Super Bantamweight Championship of Europe. Introducing to you firstly in the red corner, wearing the red, yellow and blue colors of his native country, Alicante in Spain. He weighs in at eight stone, eight pounds and eight ounces. He enters the ring with an impressive 21-fight record, 20 wins. 15 of those wins coming by way of knockout against a single defeat. He is a former European Super Bantamweight Champion. 
please welcome El Toro, the Bull, Kiko Martinez. We go across the ring to his opponent wearing the multicolored shorts, England and Jamaica. He fights out of Leicester and weighs in at eight stone, nine pounds and 12 ounces. He enters the ring with an equally impressive record. 18 fights, 17 wins. Eight of those wins coming by way of knockout against a single defeat. Tonight, making his fourth defense of his title, allow me to introduce to you your reigning European Super Bantamweight Champion, Randall Two-Tone This is 12 three minute rounds. Boxes, please. Referee Daniel Van de Vila, who's judged some of the biggest fights in world boxing in Las Vegas during his time. Very experienced I spoke official. To both of you in the dressing room, obey my commands at all time and protect us uh, at all time. Touch gloves now. And if Munro can hold on to the title here, there's a possible possible WBA title shot coming up for him against the winner of Ricardo Cordoba and the Irishman Bernard Dunn. They fight on March the 21st, but uh, nothing definite there. It's a fight they might hope to make, but there's no point looking past this one, because Martinez is the former champion. He will be dangerous, particularly early on. Just clearing the ring, and it's taking some time. Two fighters can't wait to get on with it. A few butterflies. They want that first bell. It's coming up right now. European Super Phantom Weight Championship here. The rematch. Munro, in the big breakthrough night of his career, won it on points when they met the first time 11 months ago. And they're back to work straight away, these two. It's a fast start. You can predict that really from Martinez. Well, already Martinez looks different, I think. He, he knows he made big mistakes last time. Give him no too much time, too much space. And he's denying him that here. He's close straight away, putting full power into these punches. And what Munro mustn't do is start slowly like he did against Fabrizio Trotter in his last defence. Got the job done easily enough that night, but you don't want to be slow out the blocks against this guy. I think what you want to be is careful, I think you want your defences up. I mean, Martinez won't keep this pace going, he's making an early impression. We don't want to be with... One thing we know about this guy, he can punch it, no question, and he can punch it all the levels. It's a marauding start here by the little Spaniard. Munro will refuse to be bullied, he's very, very big at the weight. I think he's quite an intimidating super bantamweight, this Rendell Monroe. Watch his body punching once the fight settles down. There's a cut already for Martinez by the side of the right eye. I think that's the fact that he's been coming in so reckless, too keen to make an early impression. Wouldn't surprise me if the heads have come together. I don't think a decent punch has landed on the eye. So There's some blood around the face of Monroe as well. Well, early drama in this fight. Not quite clear where that cut is for Munro. We'll try to get a more of a look at it, but I think there must have been a clash of heads somewhere there. Well, there's more head movement from Martinez now. The last time he was plodding forward, as though he didn't have a great idea of how to go about the job. He's different tonight. So Munro, he was very wary last time for a couple of rounds. I think the same tactics here in the early stages would be sensible. That he's walked onto the left hook there. Has to tighten things up. Looks as though Monroe's left eye a bit of damage there too. I think Monroe's problem is a bit worse than that of uh, Martinez here as well. So an all action only around body punches here from the Spaniard. It looks a lot more lively than when we saw him on the undercard of the last uh, Munro fight when he looked as flat as a pancake but I think he was under motivated really that night to be honest with you. Yeah, he looks a completely different fighter tonight. 
So care is required. Excellent opening round.